Hi beauties. Does anybody else have like a thing or a plan or a goal that like when they quote make it in life, they want to do? Like for instance, if I quote make it in life, not that I haven't made it in life. I love my life. But if I get to that level, I want a Burberry scarf. I want an Hermes scarf. I would love to go to New Zealand and I want a Tiffany necklace. That's so superficial and materialistic. And I know that. And if I never get any of those things, that's fine. That's totally fine. However, I am living like a, the, the, the like 1% of my 100% Burberry dream. Like if I could be like decked out in Burberry, this is like 1% of that dream. Ready? Because I grabbed some of their foundation. And the best part about this was, I got it at Nordstrom Rack. So I have Burberry foundation, which is like way not as cool as like Burberry clothes, but still pretty cool. And I didn't even like pay full price for it. I got it at Nordstrom Rack. So call me a cheapskate. It is what it is. But we're here to test out this foundation. Sorry for like the longest, most random intro ever. We're going to try this out. This is the Matte Glow Foundation. It is available on their website for $52.00. And I snagged it at Nordstrom Rack for $15 just in the last like week or two. So maybe if you had your Nordstrom Rack, you can check it out. But we are going to try it out today's video and get it on my face. Now, I also snagged the Liquid Lip Velvet Bold and Matte Whipped Lip Cream. This is going to be the next video. So we're going to dive into the foundation today. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss because next week I'm going to have the lip color video posted on my channel. And with that, cue the intro. I know, I look absolutely ridiculous in this video. Okay, so as I said, this is $52 if you buy it from Burberry. It does say this is a luminous matte foundation, weatherproof and long lasting. So I'm interested that it says luminous and matte. Maybe it's like a dewy matte, which would be really, really great because there was so long in makeup that it was like all about matte, like cake it on. And then more recently, it's all been like dewy, but I have oily skin, so I do still kind of stray towards matte. If this could be a mix between the two, I'm going to be excited. This is a 30 milliliter bottle, and let me show you the Burberry packaging on this. Wow. Isn't that pretty? With their iconic plaid print right there. If you're planning to skin match, to me, this is medium neutral number 60. Now, again, I just kind of picked this. I didn't get to swatch it. I didn't get to try it. I didn't get to match it to me. So we're going to hope for the best. So it does look like it has like a protection so that if you travel with it, it doesn't push down. And if I spin it a little bit, now I'm able to pump it. So I'm just going to get a little bit on my hand. We can see what we think at first glance. There is that foundation. It is neutral undertones, which is what I go towards. So I am hoping this is going to match, but let's try her out. This, if you couldn't tell from my intro, is my first Burberry makeup that I'm ever trying. I haven't tried a lot of like the luxury makeup brands. And by luxury makeup brands, I mean like the clothing houses that are also deciding to like get in the makeup realm. I don't really honestly know how I feel about it, but I got to try some of them out. I have tried some other high-end foundations on my channel. I did an Estee Lauder foundation. I've done the Lancome Taint Idol. So I like trying foundations on my channel. So let's see. Well, right off the bat, it's looking like it's matching to my skin. And that is always step one because you don't want to look like a ghost and you don't want to look like an Oompa Loompa. I got one of the Tarte Build Your Own Kits one year, and completely my own fault, not Tarte's fault. I looked like an Oompa Loompa because I did a horrible shade match for myself, but oh well. If you go back on my channel to one of my like early videos, you can find it if you want to see how I look Oompa loompa -ed. Okay, so first impressions. I am liking this. It is drying down, so it is definitely matte. But it is, I can see where they're saying it's like luminous. So my skin doesn't look or feel dry. 
at all which is good it's covering up my blemishes if you saw at the beginning of the video i had some red spots and some acne i had some issues in my skincare routine i found the culprit and i have since stopped using that product but i'm still trying to get my chin like regulated so i am just going to go in with a little bit more right in that troublesome area and see if we can build this up a little bit some foundations build better than others i think it's always good to try because you always want to know if your foundation is going to build or not or if it's just going to look cakey because there's some days maybe you're having a good skin day you just want kind of a light coverage and then other days maybe you're going out for like a night on the town you kind of want like a more full glam coverage. So know whether your favorite foundations can build or if you're gonna need to reach for something else. So I'm putting it right here in kind of the area where I have the most redness, just building it up a tiny bit. And then down here on my chin where I'm having that redness. It does seem to be building without getting cakey. So that is good. I will of course have my full wear test coverage linked down in the description box. I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day. I do have to go run a couple errands and I'll see how it does. If it, you know, kind of creases off or if it kind of melts, it's like 95 degrees outside. So that's going to be a really good test. But so far, I'm impressed by this. I mean, in $52, yes, you're kind of paying for the label, I mean, it is Burberry. Part of what you're paying for is just this like pretty packaging or to have out on your vanity. But as compared to some other foundations, to the long comb I've tried, to the Estee Lauder, it's kind of right there on par with it. All right, and there we have it. I am liking this as a first impression. I will continue trying this out. So follow me over on Instagram. It is at Beauty if you want to see more about this product. I always review the products over there. Also, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I do monthly faves and flops. So I will oftentimes bring products back in that I've done in my videos to say, yep, I'm still loving it. This is amazing. You should run out and buy it. Or you know what? After trying it a little bit more, I do not like this product. You should probably stay away from it. Also, don't forget, I have the Liquid Lip Velvet whipped lip cream review up and coming on my channel next week so ring that notification bell because i don't want you to miss this video and i will see you next week bye